check out these colorful trucks, okay? They're pulling up to the parks and libraries throughout Milwaukee, and they're looking for kids. That's right, real artists are inside those mobile studios, and their mission is to bring kids a free... Yeah, hi, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Bring kids a free drop-in art experience that includes everything from painting and sculpture to dance and drumming and cool hats like Molly's wearing. Check this out. It's a hat. It is such a hat. <laughs> this is the best hat I've ever put on. It. You need Miller. to do a 360. Oh, yeah. Okay, I will. You All ready right, for Brittany it? Brittany okay. Miller. Yes, there it is. Check it out. All the way around. Looking good. Oh, yeah. It's like where the wild things are. Yeah. Yeah. Right here is it's where they good. are. Mm -hmm. Brittany Miller and Beth Heskovec are studio artists with artists working in education, also known as AWE. It's a blast to have you guys yeah, here. Yeah, thanks for having us. It's so cool what you bring to kids. Cool stuff like this. They're part of making true creations, right? And it's not just hat making or sculpture making. It's a little bit of everything, right? Exactly. This is a headdress. It totally right? is. It is a headdress. It was made in our satellite studio last week um, at metal. a little community garden um, run by DMZ Gardens. So cool. Yeah. What, what's kids' reactions when they see your trucks pull up? <laughs> they, they tell us we're late because they want to get started making art. <laughs> they ask where we've been. So, so the trucks pull up. Explain kind of how it works because kids are able to try on these sorts of hats, the one next to you, and then help in creating it when they show up. They show up, they see a truck. What do they do? So when we bring the mobile truck studio into the parks, we have pre-planned activities um, for the f for three hours and the kids can we pull out all the materials and they can kind of just explore open-ended opportunities um, we'll like for example the figures that we'll be making um, they have lots of options to kind of embellish or take their art project in their own direction as that well. That is cool very these cool. Are cool. These are like action figures yep. right? Yep foil action figures we like to use materials that are really available in the home so when they get hey. home they continue <laughs> making art um, so just colored tape and tin foil is all you really need and we like to incorporate books um, we have Superhero Max and Sparrow Boy, where they kind of find their own superpowers and you know their identity through through the literature that we share with the kids. What's the difference between the um, truck studio and what you call your satellite mm -hmm. studios? So the satellite studio is has two professional artists that go out into the, the parks. There's no truck. There's just the artist um, and a big smile and lots of art supplies, and they work on like a larger scale installation. So this little, this, these sculptures, these costumes that were created um, last week are part of the satellite studio. Um, there was also a community mural that artist Val Tatera and poet Dan Vaughn worked on together. They talked about identity, the kids wrote poems, and then they painted these boards that'll be attached to the community garden so it stays with in the neighborhood. It's something that stays there. Whereas truck studio is something that kids can make and take home and be really mm. excited about and you know go home and then redo it themselves at home. So it's, it's so neat. You use things like dance as well, the creative writing, which you mentioned, digital music. You do different things like that um, mm -hmm. to really kind of get them involved on all different levels, whether it's physical, whether it's painting, because art truly is a, a medium that can be in all those different realms. Exactly. This this week um, for our satellite studio, there's they're going to be kids will be working on painting a mural. And then they'll also have a drummer that'll be doing drumming and dance and movement with the kids. Fine. And something I wanted to point out is that the artists set up in a fun, safe environment. Um, parents and kids can collaborate on these projects, mm -hmm. which is a great way for parents or grandparents to get involved in what their kids are doing to build confidence, to build skills in different ways. And I know that AWE comes to kids to provide these art programs, and many of the children are not, not getting arts education nope. in school. So some of the kids have actually never picked up a paintbrush, never been part of creating a sculpture. So for them, this is a unique opportunity that they're not just getting every day in school. It's a good little dancer right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's got the moves. <laughs> and it looks like they made some drums too. Last year we made some drums. They might be doing that again this year. Yeah, and you know, they learn about artists. They learn, I mean, these, these two pieces were inspired by Nick Cave, um, who's in the 30 Americans exhibit at the Art Museum. They learn about different um, concepts of line and color, sculpture, those kinds of things. So it's there's a lot to um, <laughs> that they take home, you know, just stay school ready during the summer. Yeah. It's great. I know you've got coming up um, this week, the week of July 8th, uh, from 1 to 4 p.m., several parks that the Truck Studio is going to be at. Remember, the Truck Studio is the make and take program. So those are the parks where you can find it from 1 until 4 this week. And then also there's the Satellite Studio where you meet an artist and you do a bigger project right there, which will be visual art and drumming. It's at Carmen Playfield, and that's from 1 to 4 as well. So two different programs to take advantage of. We can 
try two different types of art with AWE. To find more out about AWE, visit them online at awe-inc.org, or you can call the phone number on your screen to learn more about the truck studios and the satellite studios at 414-933-3877. Thanks for being here, ladies. Yeah, thank you. It's fantastic to have you guys. Thanks so much. Yeah.